for another video. Um, I do have a little gap between my exams, so I thought let me just film a quick video for you guys. Um, so I decided to do a summer glam makeup look with a bright lip and simple eyes but really fluttery lashes. Um, it's definitely different to what I usually do, but I love the look. I really do. I did use a bunch of products that I recently got. I did also use this palette makeup brush by Vanity Planet. They were kind of send this to me and I freaking love it. I used every, well, most of the brushes in this video. Um, and I'm just going to show you which ones I use and for what. And seriously, I've seen a bunch of you YouTubers use this, but seriously, I'm so shocked about the quality. Like, it's super sturdy and this is my new favourite powder brush, <laughs> seriously. Um, because I recently got a powder, which I am using in this video, I wanted a good powder brush and I was looking on Amazon and I thought, let me just wait till this comes and I freaking love this powder brush, it's my favourite one. I also love the stippling brush, the foundation one as well, which I use. And it also does come with this faux leather kind of holder, I would say. Um, and it's, so, it's actually very convenient if you are travelling or if you're a makeup artist. You can literally, let me just show you, literally just fold it up like so and you just tie the front and you're good to go like how cute is that like all your brushes are in it and to be honest i use only this to create this whole look so but yeah i do have an amazing discount code for you guys which is let me just quickly look on my phone this whole set usually costs 80 dollars and with my discount code you can get it for around 24 dollars which is freaking amazing i have a 70 percent off discount code which is makeup by anush i'll write it somewhere here and a link will be available in the info box if you guys do want to grab it i believe this offer is a limited time offer and they also do have international shipping available for you guys so if you guys do want to grab it make sure to do it soon because this is a limited time offer. I'm super happy that I have this. Seriously, it's so convenient and the brushes are just great quality. I also do really love their Ultimate Spa, which is which is what I use for my skincare. Um, and I do also have a 70% coupon code for you guys if you do want to grab that. It's a huge bargain. Like, it's only $30 it, um, instead of, like, 130 or something. So, yeah, if you guys want to grab it, I'm all for bargains. It's available through the link in the info box. And yeah, let me just stop rambling, let's jump straight into this video, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So this is what the palette brush set looks like without being touched. Um, it's actually really, really, really good quality. Like, I was so surprised. I hope that was focused. I'm using a different camera today because my actual big one, my big one, my big baby, is actually broken. I dropped it and... The focus is just so annoying and I feel like the quality has just gone down and it's really annoying me so I have to send it off and it's probably going to come back in ages so it's a good thing I have this camera, um, it's not going to be as good enough quality but it's going to do for the meantime. So the first brush that I'm going to use is the Vanity Planet Precision Concealer Brush, that's what it looks like, it's got a super flat shader brush but this is going to be perfect to carve your brows out with concealer. So I'm going to be using the, I've already got my brows done, I use the Smashbox Brow Tech Matte Pencil in dark brown. I'm then going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in tan. I recently got this and for some reason I seem to be tan for like every brand out there. I'll keep brows and clean them up. They are a mess today. I don't know but like when you put concealer around your brows it just helps look so much put together I just don't know how I didn't get through doing this before okay so for my skin I'm first going to put some body shop skin defense this stuff is actually really good it's SPF 50 you know how I've been obsessed with my SPF today I'm going to be using this brush this is the liquid foundation brush I would actually use this if I'm using my beauty blender and I just want to distribute the, the, the product everywhere but I'm not going to be using my beauty blender today so I'm going to use it with my SPF. This, I haven't seen anyone mention this but this uh, SPF does have like an alcohol scent to it at first but it's not too strong but you can kind of smell it but the thing that I love about it 
is that it doesn't need like a white cast. So thank you Skin Face Beauty for introducing me to this little baby, it's so good. So next I'm using the Origins Make a Difference Moisturiser, this is a really good one. I do have a skincare video up so I will link that. I think I will link that in all my videos. So if you want to know what my skincare routine is or what like products I wear. I really like this moisturiser because it really smooths your skin out, like it feels really soft. Okay so for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation in the shade Bronze. This is another new product that I've got recently and I haven't used it in any of my videos yet. And um, the brush that I'm going to be using is the Flat Top Stippling Brush, which looks like this. Like, look at that. I'm just really shocked with like the quality, like you can tell this is good quality. So I'm just going to do a few pumps on the brush. And just... You guys don't even know how much I love this foundation. I will have a review on this foundation, by the way. I really need to get rid of my moustache. I'm going to use the same concealer. I'm just going to use the same foundation brush. Today's powder, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana. I've actually been really liking this and I haven't used it in any of my videos. It's not a completely new item, but... So I'm going to use the Powder Blush Brush for this. This brush looks really nice, by the way. Okay. I'm just going to dip my powder in there. Set my under eyes and my lids. Oh, I put too much powder. I literally dropped all the powder on the floor. Why does this always happen to me? Oh my god, it's everywhere. Okay, let's just forget that happened. So the next product I'm using is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I just got this recently and I've been using it on a daily whenever I wear makeup. <laughs> and this is in the shade Medium Tan. I just wanted a powder so I could just like basically set my face because like I just felt like my face was looking very oily at times because obviously I put hydrating products and I just want to be able to control it. The bronzer does go on so much smoother when you do put powder and you can still like make everything melt together when you put your setting spray. Okay now for the exciting part! I am going to be using the new Maybelline Master Bronze Palette look how stunning it looks seriously look at it haven't used this yet so let's see for my bronzer i'm going to use this color right here and for that i'm using the angled contour brush it's very it's nice and flimsy so it's going to blend that con that bronzer really nice i'm not necessarily contouring let's say i'm contouring slash bronzing <laughs> nice but can you see like how diffused it goes on when you have powder underneath it just doesn't go patchy I mean my bronzer wasn't always patchy but sometimes I did have trouble with that 
And so I thought, let me just try and get some powder that's really good for dry skin. I also asked you guys on Snapchat and you guys get me really cool recommendations. But I saw that because I really, really loved the skin finish for my bronzer. I got it in a darker colour. It just makes your skin look so soft and diffused. And I thought, let me just get that one as my skin colour. The only thing is, if you are lighter than me, you definitely need to be a bit careful on the bronzer. You can go back with your powder brush and just go under the bronzer. The sweaty moustache is coming back with this heat. And I'm actually going to use the blusher colour. So this looks like a pretty, pretty blusher. I'm going to use this Suki brush. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. Brush in there and just pat it on the cheeks. These powders actually go on very nicely. That's so nice. I don't know if you can see it, but look. Oh, it's so nice. It's not even like really over the top. So next up, I'm using the large fan brush, which I'm so excited about. And I'm going to use the highlight set in the palette. Let's see how this is going to go on. I don't really use fan brushes a lot because I actually just bought one um, recently which you guys will see in another video but this one is really good put some on the nose and the cupid bow and the temples and just a really, really glowy skin the only colour that I didn't use is this one which I probably would use as a blush as well but seriously my verdict on this palette is a freaking 10 out of 10 it's so good I and mean, the powders glide so nicely on the skin like I'm actually so shocked right now I'm so happy I got this palette okay so the next thing I'm going to be using is the Jara Cosmetics Slay All Day setting spray and I got the new coconut one it's not that new but I got it just recently and it was available on Beauty Bay so I picked it up I'm just going to spritz this all over my face. And it smells so nice. Oh, I feel like I'm eating coconut ice cream. Okay, so for the eyes, I actually want to go with something very natural. I'm going to use this colour right here from the Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 palette. This is another recent product that I got. Just pack that colour all over my lid. It's kind of like a, a little peachy colour. Can you guys see that? It's just like a really light tint. It's not even, you can't even see it. After that, I'm going to grab this colour right here as my transition crease colour and by the way I packed this first lid colour with the crease shader and you don't necessarily have to follow the names I just use that to pack my shadow in my lid and it actually does a really good job but you can also use it to just blend your crease colour the next brush I'm using is the medium blender which looks like this so this is like your classic blending brush Like I said, I don't want to do much on the lids. I'm then also going to use this shader brush, which is called a smudge brush. This is what it looks like. It's just like a little shader brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this. You want to use, well I'm using matte colours because I haven't done my eyebrows and if I use shiny colours it's just going to accentuate them brow hairs that I haven't plucked up. Okay so that's it for the eyeshadow. Um, next up I'm going to be using some eyeliner. I'm going to use the matte liquid eyeliner by NYX which I got recently as well.
Yep, loving that liner. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I just put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes quickly and next I'm going to use these new lashes that I got, they're from Lorella, Lorella London and these are in the style Coco I believe but there's not even a name on it so I will write it in the info box. Okay so those are the lashes on, super dramatic and like flary, like oh my god that's so nice and they were really affordable as well okay so i'm gonna keep like building the mascara up just to like balance it um but in the meantime i'm actually gonna take some of my brow pencil because i forgot my eyeliner i'm just gonna line my waterline next i'm gonna use this velvet lip lacquer quite anyway I just to look. look just give a hug just give a hug <laughs> I did use this brush right here to apply the liquid lipstick. It's the rounded liner brush. And I know this looks really bright right now, but I have some lip liner. This is the LA Girl Lip Liner in Natural. But let me just let go of this hair. No, this colour looks so nice. I don't know why the camera's making it as if like it looks so fluorescent. Where are you going?